Like I said, I was gonna make a part two. You see the eyes is a window to the song, man. This shit's serious, man. I'm not playing. Cynthia had all them damn demons in her. Now, they was already doing the witchcraft visitations on me, and I swear to Jehovah, and I swear by the name of Jehovah, and I swear on his name, I swear on Jehovah's name, right hand, I swear on Jehovah's name, I swear on Jesus Christ's name, I swear, I swear, I swear, Lord, kill me if I lie, I swear, I swear, I swear. I ain't about to play with the son or the father. And he said, swear by his name sometime. And then one of them things, I swear by. So they were doing witchcraft visitation on me, all thousands of them, all night long. When it's from the moment that they put me in them back jails and in that psych ward. And they was like coming like in dozens and coming in hundreds, sometimes they'll come in like, seen like thousands. They was coming back to back to back to back to back. Um, yeah. They was trying to have sex with me. Um, they was trying to do all that. And Jesus was stopping a lot of the stuff that they was doing, everything that they were doing in the spirit and that wickedness. And then, um, I wanted to know what was going on, but I was just scared because I didn't even know what God was doing. I thought that was God doing that to me. I thought it was God because it was people that I knew. It was my sisters doing it. It was my, it was Cynthia. Um, it was Austin. It was Andrew. It was Irma Marshall, my grandma. It was Keanu Wiley, my cousin. It was Michelle Marshall. It was um, gang members. It was all them folks. I told y'all, I'm not finna keep going. Man, I have to make a whole hour video just to name all the names of the people that did do this and so um i was back there you know waking up like real scared because jesus christ kept letting me know he had me protected because he kept like stopping stuff and i knew okay well jesus something jesus must be stopping you know and he kept saying his name and he kept you know showing himself as god and fighting them on behalf of me and um like he seemed to get quiet and stuff on me um, but they were still doing the demon stuff, and he still was fighting them, and there was angels, um, black angels um, helping, and um, children, black children that was angels that was helping and stuff, and exposing the police department. They was exposing everybody that was trying to kill me a lot by my case and give me 99 years on the police department. Um, they was exposing the women, the white women on the police department that was trying to um, uh, lie about my pregnancy and, get, and murder me. Um, and lie about my case and keep me from getting a doctor. Um, he was exposing everything and stopping them, and especially exposing Cynthia. Like, he was exposing that Cynthia was the one behind lying about everything. Um, and so um, I remember the last phone call that I heard from Larissa and Shakina and all of my family was when they had moved me to the psych ward. And, um, well, that was the last phone call I heard from Larissa, but not Shakina. That was the last, uh, I think from my, Larissa especially, was Larissa said, oh, I called Cynthia. Uh, and, and Andrew gave me her number, and Cynthia said that you need to prove your income. You need to prove how much money you make. And uh, they trying to use that against you. And then I was like, okay, how you get, Drew said, Andrew said he gave them Cynthia number. So I was like, oh, why calling Cynthia? Y'all abusing me. Everybody know he was abusing And y'all come here. What is your people for? You're here about helping your family. I was like, I'm in here pregnant. And these folk up in here trying to murder me and all kind of shit. Y'all need to. And, they, and I was like, they lying about the case. And, you know, and I told them, like, they trying to kill me. Like, you know, attacking me and my kids. Like, basically, I don't know exactly what I said, but I was screaming on the phone of my family. And, um, basically, um, I didn't never really hear from Larissa again. And I started crying because they uh, put me back in the segregated housing unit and said it was cool for me to leave the psych ward. I thought I had my Bible, I was saying to God, and I fell asleep. And I was just falling asleep and just sleeping the whole damn time and barely eating. Um, and then so when they moved me to the back of the psych ward, um, that I, I, I asked God at some point when they was lying in my court dates about not having evidence, I was like, they moved me to the back of the segregated housing unit from the psych ward. God said, I was like, God, I was like, please tell me, God, why is my sister Larissa uh, ignoring me and why is she not answering my phone calls 
and why is it like she's trying to uh, be on their side about money? I was like, she knows that money have nothing to do with a white man abusing me and my baby and me having to shoot him to protect me. And then and me and my child and me being pregnant. And I said and, and I wanted to go off on the wrist and I and I went off on everybody else. Like, why is y'all worrying about what how much money I make? What do they have to do with a case where I done shot a gun and I ain't shooting no gun cause I'm Debo. I ain't shooting no gun cause I'm robbing nobody. I ain't shooting no gun cause I think I'm big and bad. Somebody is attacking me and my child. And why the fuck is all y'all asses sitting over here lying about the shit? And so um I, I asked God and God was like, oh. I ended up seeing, actually, I ended up seeing uh, this white man come to me, and that's when I seen, uh, he was telling me about, uh, like, evidence from 2015 from Austin hitting on me up in the house at my other apartment, um, and where he got charged with assault family violence, and I was calling my family and stuff, I was calling Rissa telling her about it, and I got pregnant. Um, by Austin and um, they kicked me out of my apartment because Austin was abusing me and then tried to lie and say that I was abusing him and then refused to call the police when he was trying to abuse me in the streets and stuff. But somebody did and I told on him and he was arrested. And then they said that he uh, assaulted a guard in the jail and then they uh, dropped that charge and I didn't press charges and Cynthia was kind of behind that too. But anyway, um, so I seen Larissa and when I seen Larissa, uh, she was running after me in the grocery store and I was limping in the vision. And she was like running, I was limping and I was running from her um, like my leg was her. And it was like, they was trying to make it seem like I, my leg should be her. Um, or something about maybe, I don't know. But anyway, when she ran up to me, she showed me this white towel that had dirt all over it. And then she was like, oh, you need to make sure that the uh, man you get with is a good man before you get with him. And that's all she said. And then um, she had a, uh, I seen this bathtub and some water and something about somebody trying to do something to me in a bathtub full of water and something about my mother. And my mother was in the bed and they were trying to put me in the same bed as my mother. And then um, my mother was lying down and I got up and I turned on, I, I, I walked out of the room they had us in. And then I looked in the living room and there was TVs, but it looked like a wizard room that had all these TVs that was fuzzy, like something was wrong with them. And there was a white man, an old, old, old white man in there. And he was ruling over these two young white guys. And then he left them and told them to be in charge of stuff while he was gone. And my mama was in the back room like, how they have the set like on a TV show and they got a set and then they got somebody in the back of on, like like out in the dressing room or something but it wasn't a dressing room they had my mama back there laying in the bed with the covers on with cancer and then um, something about somebody doing something like to her and it being a set and then they had me back there with her and then there was something about a pool or a tub of water and a bathroom and it being a set and then um the TVs and stuff, and uh, lying about stuff on the TVs and stuff. And then all the TVs was fuzzy and wouldn't work. And then when he left them to, and they was uh, doing something to the TVs, all of it, it started raining on their TVs, and then they stopped working. And then I seen the vision of Larissa, and um, she said, uh, she was, I was in the house, a big old house. And then um, God was showing me that Cedric Brown and how my mama always had a big house and all those rings, all those different rings and showing me like getting rings, like a wedding ring, like my mom and that Larissa wanted it. And she wanted the house and the fake ass husband that only wanted the house and just really didn't care about love. That's how Austin was. Like God was showing me that Austin really didn't, like he loved me at one point we was in love, but somehow Austin, he became like them. And Austin, or he already was like them and he was just hiding it. And he was, um, he, it, I seen Cedric Brown.
and he was in the house with me like he was my husband. And I seen a box of wedding rings and I opened it and all the wedding rings fell on the floor and they was beautiful rings. My mama rings and my rings. And then Larissa bust in the room and Cedric walked out and he was like Austin, but it was Cedric. And then the one who was abusing me when I was a little girl and my mom was with him. And then I seen, um, I seen what well, the Holy Spirit was like showing me Austin was like him. Like he really didn't care about my mom. He just wanted um, the big, he just wanted to, to show off like a house and show he had a car and really wasn't the one who even worked for it. You know, that's how Cedric was. Really wasn't the one who really had to put the hard work in to make everything go the way you want it. He just wanted to show it off and be like, oh, I got a house, I got a car. And he really didn't care about the woman. And Larissa didn't care. In the vision, she would be with a man like that because she was that kind of woman. She wanted the things like that, that me and my mom have been getting from me. And so I took the ring, biggest one I could pick up, and I said, here, you can have it. This is for you. And I put it on her finger, and she loved it. And in the vision, I ran out of the house. And then so, um, I remember asking God, please tell me why I'm having all of these, like please tell me what's going on basically. And let Christ Jesus, because Jesus was the one protecting me and everything, but he was just really seen quiet to me. And then I was like, okay, please just let Christ Jesus, you know, um, just take over and please do not like let them scare me. And I said, God, please reveal who they are and stop their power and tell me why they did this. And then so that night 